Hi, and welcome to Mastering Metadata for Post-Production. I am Philip Hodgetts, as you've been told. Uh, we'll get started uh, straight away. Let's get right to the important piece right from the start. What is metadata? Metadata is defined as being data about the data, which is about as useful definition as I can imagine it not being. Metadata is information about the media. That's, that's certainly true, but it's not something absolutely new. I didn't realize it, but I've been a big metadata fan my entire career. Back in the day, and this is my first edit bay that I set up uh, in my first office. I had one at home before that, but this is the first one. And you'll notice I have the latest and greatest of technology with an Apple II computer running my two 2850 decks, uh, working on some 4.3 material in PAL. But I always found it valuable to log my tapes excruciatingly because it's so much faster to scan down a, a written or typed list. And sadly, in those days, I wrote them and therefore had trouble reading them. But that list is so much easier than putting a tape in and shuttling it through to where it might be or where it, or to where I think it might be because if you don't have a tape log, you don't know where anything is on the tape. So in those days, it became very important, but it's also very efficient. If you log a tape properly, whether you log it before you capture it or most recently or most reasonably, you log it and subclip it, make selects in the digital domain, it's, it's faster. Once you have the log material, you can find it faster. It's faster to read through some keyword notes on a five-minute interview segment than it is to take five minutes to look through it. So I became a big fan of, of log notes, and I, I devised this system where I would put the tape itself and the log notes into a plastic Ziploc bag, a really big, heavy-duty Ziploc bag, effectively. And I'm, I like to jokingly say that uh, this is the first use in my history of a sidecar file. And if you don't know what a sidecar file is, it's really what it sounds like. You, there are some metadata formats that won't take some media formats that won't take metadata in their file structure. So these go into the adjacent file, same name, different suffix, and that's a sidecar file. And truthfully, logging sheets are sidecar files to the tapes that they go with. They're metadata about the data that's on the tape. This is not something new. You've played with metadata, you've ended metadata, you've used metadata now, if you've done anything in the industry, if you've done a sheet of paper with some notes on it into a tape case, you've named a reel in an edit system, you relied on time code, you have worked with metadata. So it's not something new and it's not something scary. In fact, you've worked with metadata automation if you've ever worked with Final Cut Pro's start-stop detection because it looks at a metadata track, a hidden time of day time code track that's otherwise not accessible but it uses that to look for discontinuities where a shot change has happened. And that's how stop-start detection works. It's based on metadata. It's your, probably your first use of metadata-based workflow automation. And it's now in the past. So this is, all, this is all something that you can be comfortable and familiar with. Metadata is important because it makes the content more valuable. And that's absolutely true. It can get you home earlier, which is always a good thing. It has the potential to take days or weeks out of post-production, perhaps in some circumstances today, but in most circumstances tomorrow. And the other thing is you're really not going to get a choice in this. Metadata is important. The tracking metadata, the shot use metadata, all of this is going to be required as a deliverable. Uh, search out an article online that's called the database as a deliverable. If you put that into your favorite search engine, I'm sure you'll find it. Metadata makes content more valuable. And I can show three photographs and you'll immediately understand what, I'm, what I mean. That tape has no metadata, has no label. It has something on it, maybe. I don't know what it is. I'd have to go and put the tape in a deck and play it to find out if even this was the tape I wanted. But a tape with a label, at least a tape with a label, allows me to know whether or not it's the tape I want before I have to put it into a deck. But most valuable at all is media that has 
log notes, a lot of good metadata with it. This is the most valuable of all.